We make our beginning in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Dearly beloved, Christ our Lord says in the last chapter of Matthew, all authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Therefore, go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. In the last chapter of Mark, our Lord promises, whoever believes and is baptized will be saved. And the Apostle Peter has written, baptism now saves you. The Word of God also teaches that we are all conceived and born sinful, and we are under the power of the devil until Christ claims us as his own. We would be lost forever unless delivered from sin, death, and everlasting condemnation. But the Father of all mercy and grace has sent his Son, Jesus Christ, who atoned for the sin of the whole world, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but would have eternal life. I ask you now, how is this little one named? Cam Weezer. Cam Benjamin Weezer, receive the sign of the cross both upon your forehead and upon your heart to mark you as one redeemed by Christ the crucified. Let us pray. Almighty and eternal God, according to your strict judgment, you condemned the unbelieving world through the flood. Yet according to your great mercy, you preserved believing Noah and his family, eight souls in all. You drowned hard-hearted Pharaoh and all of his host in the Red Sea, yet you led your people Israel through the water on dry ground, foreshadowing this washing of your holy baptism. Through the baptism in the Jordan of your own beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, you sanctified and instituted all waters to be a blessed flood and a lavish washing away of sin. We pray that you would behold Cam according to your boundless mercy and bless him with true faith by the Holy Spirit that through the saving flood all sin in him, which has been inherited from Adam, and which he himself has committed since, would be drowned and die. Grant that he be kept safe and secure in the holy ark of the Christian church, being separated from the multitude of unbelievers and serving your name at all times with a fervent spirit and a joyful hope, so that with all believers in your promise, he would be declared worthy of eternal life. We ask this through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. From ancient times, the Church has observed the custom of appointing sponsors for baptismal candidates and catechumens. In the Evangelical Lutheran Church, sponsors are to confess the faith expressed in the Apostles' Creed and taught in the small catechism. They are, whenever possible, to witness the baptism of those they sponsor, but given the current circumstances and us doing this here by ourselves with the uh, COVID-19 self-quarantine time, we have elected not to have the sponsors here nor any of the congregant members with us either. And so we ask God's blessing on them as they still serve in this role for you. And we invite them to pray for Cam, to support him in his ongoing instruction and nurture in the Christian faith, and to encourage him towards faithful reception of the Lord's Supper. His sponsors are at all times to be examples to him of the holy life of faith in Christ and love for neighbor. Because I'm unable to ask them the questions that are here in the book, we'll leave it to them that they will be assuming these roles themselves. And we pray that God enable them both to will and do this faithful and loving work, and with His grace, fulfill what we are unable to do. Amen. Hear now the Holy Gospel according to St. Mark. They brought young children to Jesus that He might touch them, but the disciples rebuked those who brought them. When Jesus saw it, he was greatly displeased, and he said to them, Let the little children come to me, and do not forbid them, for of such is the kingdom of God. Assuredly, I say to you, whoever does not receive the kingdom of God as a little child will by no means enter it. And he took them up in his arms, he put his hands on them, and he blessed them. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. We pray the prayer our Lord taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord preserve your coming in and going out from this time forth and forevermore. Amen. Because Cam is unable to speak for himself, for himself, for himself, he's one guy, sorry, for himself. Um, We will ask you to answer these questions on his behalf, and then uh, we work through the instruction in the Christian faith later in his life where he gets to answer for himself in the form of catechesis and catechism class. So you'll be speaking on his behalf. Cam Benjamin Weezer, I ask you now, do you renounce the devil? If so, then say, yes, I renounce him. 
Yes, I renounce him. Do you renounce all his works? If so, then say, yes, I renounce them. Yes, I renounce them. Do you renounce all his ways? If so, then say, yes, I renounce them. Yes, I renounce him. Do you believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth? If so, then say, yes, I believe. Yes, I believe. Do you believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried? He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From thence he will come to judge the living and the dead. If so, then say, yes, I believe. Yes, I believe. Do you believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Christian Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting? If so, then say, yes, I believe. Yes, I believe. Cam Benjamin Weezer, do you desire to be baptized? If so, then say, yes, I do. Yes, I do. You wouldn't be here if you didn't want to be, so... <laughs> Cam Benjamin Weezer, I baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. This big candle in the middle is called the Christ candle, and we light this light coming from that. Receive this burning light. I'll hand this to you, not with the baby over here. <laughs> <laughs> receive this burning light to show that you have received Christ, who is the light of the world. Live always in the light of Christ and be ever watchful for his coming, that you would meet him with joy and enter with him into the marriage feast of the Lamb and his kingdom, which has no end. Receive also the white garment that I gave to you. That shows that Cam has been clothed with the robe of Christ's righteousness that covers all of his sin. So shall he stand without fear before the judgment seat of Christ to receive the inheritance prepared for him from before the foundation of the world. In holy baptism, God the Father has made Cam a member of his Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, and an heir with all of us to the treasures in heaven in the one holy Christian and apostolic church. We receive him in Jesus' name as our brother in Christ, that together we would hear his word, receive his gifts, and proclaim the praises of him who called us out of darkness into his marvelous light. Amen. We welcome you in the name of the Lord. Let us pray. Almighty and most merciful God and Father, we thank and praise you that you graciously preserve and enlarge your family, and that you have granted Cam this new birth and holy baptism, making him a member of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, and an heir of your heavenly kingdom. We humbly implore you that as he has now become your child, you would keep him in his baptismal grace, that according to your good pleasure, he would faithfully grow to lead a godly life, to the praise and honor of your glory name your holy name, excuse me, and finally with all your saints obtain the promised inheritance in heaven. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord and giver of life, look with kindness upon the father and mother of this child and upon all parents. Let them ever rejoice in the gift that you've given them. Enable them to be teachers and examples of righteousness for their children. Strengthen them in their own baptism that they would share eternally with their children the salvation that you've given them. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Peace be with you all. Amen. Because baptism is the means by which Cam becomes a member of St. John's Lutheran Church, we have one other thing that we need to take care of here, and that would be your guys' membership and welcome into membership here in the church. And so we continue with the reception of members by transfer or profession of faith. Beloved in the Lord, our Lord Jesus Christ said to his apostles, whoever confesses me before men, I will also confess before my Father who is in heaven. But whoever denies me before men, I will also deny before my Father who is in heaven. Lift up your hearts, therefore, to God, to the God of all grace, and joyfully give answer to what I now ask you in the name of the Lord. Do you on this day in the presence of God and those present with us over the internet, not in the congregation here, <laughs> do you acknowledge the gifts that God gave to you in your individual baptisms? If so, then say, yes, we do. Yes, we do. Do you renounce the devil and all his works and all his ways? If so, then say, yes, I renounce them. Yes, I renounce them. Do you believe in God, the Father Almighty, in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, and in the Holy Spirit? If so, then say, yes, I do. Yes, I do. 
Do you hold all the prophetic and apostolic scriptures to be the inspired word of God and the doctrine of the evangelical Lutheran church drawn from them and confessed in the small catechism to be faithful and true? If so, then say, I do. I do. Do you intend to hear the word of God and receive the, the Lord's Supper faithfully? If so, then say, I do by the grace of God. I do by the grace of God. Do you intend to live according to the word of God and in faith, word, and deed to remain true to God the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit even unto death? If so, then say, I do by the grace of God. I do by the grace of God. Do you intend to continue steadfast in this confession and church and to suffer all, even death, rather than fall away from it? If so, then say, I do by the grace of God. I do by the grace of God. Do you desire to become members of this congregation, St. John's Lutheran Church in Palmer, Nebraska? If so, then say, I do. I do. Will you support the work our gracious Lord has given this congregation with your prayers and the gifts that God has given to you? If so, then say, I will with the help of God. I will with the help of God. Upon this, your confession of faith, I acknowledge publicly that you are now members of the Evangelical Lutheran Church and of this congregation, St. John's Lutheran Church in Palmer, Nebraska. Receive the Lord's Supper and participate with us in all the blessings of salvation that our Lord has given to his church. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us pray. Lord God, Heavenly Father, we thank and praise you for your great goodness in bringing these, your sons and daughters, to the knowledge of your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ, and enabling them both with the heart to believe and the mouth to confess his saving name. Grant that by your word and spirit they would continue steadfast in the one true faith in the fellowship of this congregation, as together we await the day when all who have fought the good fight of faith shall receive the crown of righteousness. We ask this through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. Amen. Before you leave, there's a couple of things that we'll share with you. The church had a card here for you. Um, got a baptismal certificate that you know the story behind, and then you guys are welcome to take the banner with you as well. So, thank you. Welcome. Thanks. Welcome.